welcome back to ir design export channel today we are discussing about innovative double purpose chair this is for normal chair at the same time i can be adjust with uh, with use of uh, it can be table uh, normal dining table you can use that this kind of uh, double purpose chair we can use to the space utilization in a smaller home you can use that uh, this kind of double purpose uh, chair you can use the new part and select a sketch front data plane and select and select a rectangular and center point rectangular you can select just go to click and drag and give a dimension the dimension is 30 the length is 200 now exit sketch go to extrude boss Extrude thickness is 5 mm. Okay, now we're going to select the side surface and uh, then go to select it as uh, sketch. Here we can draw it as uh, support. Side support you can uh, draw it here. You can use of the side surface. Here we can make it for arc shape. The side support we can made it. Okay, now we can go into select the center axis. Draw the center axis of center. And we can go to select on uh, three point R. For two corner we can select with the rectangular. And another one corner we can extend like. Like that we can draw it. And give a dimension of this circle. The circle diameter is 80. Okay, now we're going to give a horizontal line. This is for using cut section of the circle. I'm going to trim command. You can use to excess lines. You can trim it. Okay, now we can uh, offset these lines. Offset. Offset the thickness is 5 mm. Okay. I'm going to close the these two arcs. You can close it. That is what you can make it uh, extension. Otherwise, it cannot be extended in solid model. Okay, it is closed. Now I'm going to select the extrude bars. The extrude thickness is 10 mm. Minimum, okay and we can select uh, the arcs front surface you can select it here and going to sketch and normal tool now we're going to create a center axis can draw the another one center axis for uh, you can create this angle this circle center only we can draw it it is what we can predicted that uh, clear uh, angle you can predict it okay these two uh, axis angle is 45 degree Okay, now it is created. Now we're going to create the pin. Okay, the pin locating uh, area. This is to be provided for here. You can select here and draw it on uh, line. The same uh, center axis. You can draw the line for the rectangular. You can create it. Okay, now go to convert entities and select inner arc. Okay, now going to select the trim command for excess lines. You can be trim 
and remit okay now give a dimension of this the side thickness side length is you can give a 10 mm and top side this is you can give a 5 mm okay now going to create a circle center circle the circle uh, diameter is and then between distance stop to the circle center point distance is 3 mm circle diameter is also 3 mm I'm going to trim the excess uh, arch now going to select a dimension for the side surface to top side surface this is 2.5 ok exit sketch now going to extend extend bars this thickness is 3 mm ok now the same structures to be creating on opposite side is also Again, going to select a sketch and select a front surface of here. Convert entities. So to select and delete, and then convert entities. You can select uh, all the edges. Okay. Now going to extrude. Extrude thickness is uh, 10 mm. Okay. Again, going to select the front of the arc. Sketch. Can select change the hidden lines, convert entities, can select all the edges. Okay, now I'm going to trim the unwanted uh, excess socks, you can delete it here. I am going to create a change the solid model and extrude pass. And 3 mm, you can extend it. Okay, now it is created in the bottom portion. You can create it. First body is completed. Now going to make a assemble in inside the assemble model. You can create it. Remaining components. So this is what the this components should be assembled in exact location. Now going to select on tool. First, you have to save the component. And select new command, assemble. Here we can uh, fix it on uh, the bottom portion. You can change the angle. Okay, you can fix it here. Now you can uh, create it on a new component, new part. You can select and select which surface you can select to make a sketch. You can select this surface. Okay, automatically remaining portions are uh, slight the color changes to be occur. Okay, now going to create the arc top portion, uh, uh, chair portions to be created on here. Now going to create it on uh, convert entities using to select the convert entities and select this all the edges. <coughs> convert entities, uh, we can select it. And then you can draw the center line for the circle uh, center line, and then uh, entire center line is also we can create it. The reason is you can uh, make it for angle, which angle the uh, back side of a portion it can be fixed here. It's a 30 degree, and remaining portion should be uh, trim it. Again, going to uh, select line and then create the tap board face back side tap board. Place you can create 
now we're going to select these two center line and the line both are to be uh, parallel can select ok and create a dimension of this line this to be 50 now we can uh, make it for offset command just go to select offset and the offset thickness is 5 mm ok now we can close it the component ok now we can want to up to the pin we can uh, we want to make it a component remaining for remaining uh, sketch you can delete it do sub trim command this now trim command you can select and delete ok ok now we can uh, extrude the git sketch and select extrude select the sketch and change the fifth direction 10 mm thickness ok ok it's to be created ok now we can select the same sketch for the, this surface you can create a smaller uh, pin the top pin you can create it using of the another one uh, uh, holding device you can be fixed on here can create a rectangular on top sliding portion these two surfaces to be parallel and this dimension this dimension is uh, can create as a 10 mm the thickness of this rectangular is 5 mm this thickness is 5 mm ok now we can draw it on uh, circle the circle dimension is 3 mm and the top top to bar circle center in between distance is also 3 mm and center to the side surface in between uh, this distance is not coming in the sense we can draw it on uh, center axis and we can constant mat we can use in the constant constant to be using to the command draw the center line and select the center line and center point of circle we can select a constant automatically to be constant now we can delete the center axis okay now we can extrude Exit sketch it's to 3 mm thickness okay now it is completed the same method you can be created on opposite side is also you can create it again sketch and select the surface uh, convert it convert in DDs you can select both uh, uh, all the edges for the sliding portion uh, is to be created and uh, the top top one is also ok <coughs> and extrude extrude thickness is 10 mm change the flip direction ok I am going to select uh, the front side of the uh, front side and then select uh, change the hidden surfaces and select convert entities and select the, all the edges and inner hole is also now trim excess lines and change the again change the uh, uh, 3d model now going to extrude the extrude thickness is 3 mm Again, going to select this this uh, tree and then edit. The thickness is 3 mm. You can edit it. Okay, now it is completed this portion. 
the now it is created on uh, uh, the back side this this portion should be uh, created a rectangular so we can select this surface and then sketch now we can uh, create our uh, center axis center axis for uh, this column side column going to select it and this creating on a rectangular for this center axis to the another one center axis up to the bottom bottom portion is also okay now we can give a dimension of this thickness this is for 45 okay now going to exit sketch and extrude okay it is completed now going to create a third part Second part is over. Third part, select the part, new part, and select this surface. And uh, we can make it for uh, convert entities. You can use to go command of convert entities and select this edge. Okay. Again, you can go into offset. Offset of this line, okay. And you can close it for uh, this, this tool. You can close it here. Select the line and we can close it. Again, select convert in these DTs and uh, select it and then in excess lines. Sketch, extrude, and select the sketch. Extrude the third 10 mm. Okay. I'm going to select the sketch on the opposite side. Here we can select the compatibilities for all the objects. Fix it and create and convert convert entities and select the edges and open to trim the lines and select these two lines. These two lines you can select and we can make it on parallel. Parallel. Okay, now we're going to give a dimension of this. Uh, this line should be 10 mm half distance, half thickness is a parallel line to be created, so for the mom, now we can create as a circle, in a circle, uh, this uh, pin locating portion we can create and here at the center of the rectangular body, here we can create it, this pin uh, diameter is uh, 10 mm, 
top side to center of the circle uh, this is for 3 mm and here to the side thickness this is not coming in a proper uh, direction so we can keep a center axis for the top line and we can use the constant plan we can use that center point and center line and we can constant select
now again i am going to edit open this command and save as same method you can use that uh, these videos is also you can go to edit I 
description then to edit the sketch for uh, converting to this convert for uh, hidden lines and select this uh, circle okay okay now we will take this sketch automatically updated for uh, next position created Then we will save as part number 6 you can be saved and then go to the assembly mode the component you can just go to click the control button and right left click for your mouse and just you have to drag automatically the copy paste you can be coming for next the same kind of component so to see there are random times I can say just you can click it for control button and uh, left click of your mouse you can just go to drag it automatically it should be coming okay going to mat for the parallel these two surfaces are parallel and uh, the pin it can be fixed on uh, here these two holes you can be mated as you have to, have to mate it for these two holes another and then you can fix it on uh, pin all the holes are it can be concentric mat you can mat it these two surface this side surface both of them uh, can matted here now we can be matted the concentric mat now we can select the pin and locate here and this front surface and then uh, the side lever uh, front surface Okay, the next pin you can assemble in front uh, concentric mat and then front face mat. Okay.
now we can just show to click it click and uh, control button right click uh, left click on your mouse control button and left click on your mouse these two you can use to make a just drag it drag it you can copy paste the same like that you can use to the next mat and surface and uh, cylindrical surface and inner inner surface and the front face of this surface and the pin front face okay now it is to be located again going to select the control button and uh, look right left click of your mouse now the now we can select this concentric uh, mat for both the pin and uh, pin surface you can select the pin surface and uh, front surface of the third component second component again the same method you can be drag it this concentric surface okay and the front face of the pin and front face of the lever okay now it is fixed on all the mats now we can make it on uh, uh, the chair normal chair we can make it uh, this kind of chair sofa those kind of things you can use that at the same time uh, here now we have make it on bottom uh, plate here this surface you can select new component and surface you can select and here we can make it on a rectangular rectangular you can create it uh, this rectangular Thickness, thickness of this rectangle is 5 mm and the length is 200 mm so to drag it and extrude this uh, rectangular Now the second direction, this direction is also you can extrude a little amount of extrusion you can make it. Okay. Open this uh, flat plate. The ground level you can be now. We can save us. And assembly mode. Now we can select advanced mat for these two surfaces. These two surfaces. Advanced mat with command. And select with command is for uh, assembled on center of the component center of the component uh, this one has to be fixed okay now the bottom portion of uh, this chair it's a normal mat constant mat bottom portion of the chair and this ground level it can be fixed here okay and these two surfaces these two surfaces to be parallel mat okay and before that going to suppress the before mat now we can remove the suppress that is what you can remove it okay
now we can uh, drag it now we can see that the lever the top lever cannot be fixed in a pin so we can assemble so we can assemble on uh, these levers and side surface and this side surface you can fix it here and again go to the mat for the concentric and this concentric pin you can mat it Again, this concentric and this concentric uh, pin you can add it. Okay. You can check it for how the match. Now we can drag it. Can lift it on uh, top words. The same time, I can lift it on the front share in top direction. You can fix, and then now we can adjust inside. You can be adjust. Now we can create it for the dining tables to be created. Chair is to be converted for dining table with minimum construction, smaller uh, mechanism. We can use that. Now these two surfaces can be matted. Okay. The same things to be fixed on here. Again going to assemble. Okay. Now we can open uh, each and every component, uh, we can give a color uh, seventh component we can provide it for uh, one shaft, creating one shaft in back side uh, this particular shaft we can create it for uh, the upper lock the beach jumper lock we can create it so this is uh, the real look of uh, uh, the beach location a beach or garden location here we can creating on a circle in back side of the chair this circle is to be uh, the column the column or beam uh, this is a 20 mm I'm going to extrude Now we're going to extrude this uh, column. So 200 mm. Now the make it on axis, center axis of this column, and they can creating a datum plane of this center axis with reference of this center axis, and they can. Uh, secondary reference for the front datum plane you can make it on uh, parallel ok now we can use that uh, this datum plane on creating on uh, sketch uh, here we can uh, make uh, one arc one arc this arc is called as a ampere law now we can make offset for 5 mm. Now we can close it. Go 
going to extend this arc up to this line. Now we can trim it. Again, going to select the line and close it and create it as a center axis. Now we can creating on a revolve command. Okay, automatically creating on uh, the upper lies created. Okay. Uh, the extrude, this extrude height can be increased. That is what clearly visible for uh, uh, this chair. So only you can increase the height. Okay, so 300. Okay. Now, now we can provide that uh, colors of each and every component. We can open and hide the datum plane and center axis, revolve feature it can be provided for the colors and then the bottom plate, the shaft is given from black color. bottom plate we can uh, given uh, the green color green is uh, the garden uh, green we can use now we can open to the second part here we can provide that uh, the cut section Okay, sketch and select this surface for the cut section. Uh, I can use a small, small piece of the wooden pieces to be joined uh, here. So only you can make a cut section for here. So those kind of uh, view we can make it. So they select the rectangular. You can smaller thickness. We can cut it here. Now going to give a dimension of these these two uh, lines in between lines. Uh, this total length is 190, and uh, creating a center axis for this component. Uh, this is for going to fix in center of this uh, rectangular. So we make a symmetric. Okay, and then I uh, can give us a thickness 2 mm and this rectangular top distance, top distance of 5 mm. Now we can uh, create on uh, exit and then extrude cut. Okay, this to be make a solid solid model. Now we can linear pattern. Uh, this is to be created on the axis linear direction. This is to be created four number of cut sections to be created. Okay. Now we can this surface and uh, back side surface. You can select and then give a wooden color. Can provide the wooden color. Okay. Uh, 
and we can give a radius radius of uh, the sharp edges to be given to the radius the radius is uh, 1 mm for the all the edges for the pin and the same time handle is also opposite side uh, the pin is also you can provided the radius okay i'm going to edit another one uh, length you can select okay now we can select another one fillet radius for the uh, uh, handle it should be a supporting handle Now going to select this uh, lever and then uh, the handle. These two radius and pin. Locating pin is also. Okay, these two components we can provide at the black color. color and we can same we can cut the cut section for uh, the, the bottom sitting portion is also we can provide that uh, small, small sketch and then select uh, surface and create a smaller rectangular for the cut section length is 190 these two length line length is 2 mm now we can make it on uh, 3 mm this two length distance and then make it on center axis for this component create a center axis and make it on the matrix symmetric on uh, this syntax is click symmetric okay now we can use to make a cut section and top distance is also 5 mm uh, and extrude cut Now going to make a linear pattern for this direction. Change the fifth direction. And this is the three number of uh, pieces you can be cut. It. This is a very higher, very bigger thickness, so you can minimize that uh, thickness. The sketch going to sketch and edit. You can minimize the thickness. That is what you can uh, remove it. Now we can OK and going to select a cut section of uh, this line. We can uh, minimize that uh, uh, in between gap. The top distance is also we can minimize in 2 mm. Top distance is same 5 mm, but uh, cut section thickness is 2 mm only. Now we can minimize the distance 
okay the phi mm uh, can be given for each and every cut section distance now we can select all this uh, uh, sitting table uh, component we can provide that wooden color okay now we can provide that radius of uh, these two pins and then uh, uh, side supports this is uh, 2 mm or the opposite side is also now we can provide that uh, these side support color this side support color you can uh, given that uh, no color and the side lever side lever you can supporting lever uh, this radius to be 2 mm and provided the all the sides all the sides you can provide the radius and again you can go to select uh, radius build radius and we can given that so two sides of the side support lever you can provide that uh, fillet radius Okay, you can select all the sides. You can given a color of a black color. Okay, now we can use that. Uh, here, the side support is also black color, so black color is indicating that uh, good uh, image you can create it. So, so you can use that the same black color for here, and the first component. is also we can provide that uh, the supporting uh, uh portion we can provide that the same black color you can give in okay this to be completed now we can save and go to the next component the pin the pin is to be given for blue yellow color okay save okay now it is completed go to the assemble mode now it is looking a good look and the same another one component should be missing so we can open it the first component here is also we can make it for cut section for that we can provide that uh, radius this radius is 2 mm
the opposite side is also we can provide the radius now we can use that uh, the side support side supports color you can give in that uh, black color on this surface you can make a cut section sketch and using of a draw the rectangular and center axis and draw the center axis and these two surfaces and select the center axis metric and the top distance this distance is 5 mm these two edges, these two edges to be two mm. Now the total length is one ninety. Now going to extrude cut. Okay. Now go to the linear pattern select and the edge you can select it. Direction. That and change the flip direction. You can make a cut section for three numbers. Okay, now we can select uh, this plate and the cut section uh, cut and cut and cut section. You can provide that wooden color. Okay, and we can save. The now Okay, this should be looking a good uh, image for that. Now we can uh, drag it. Slight movement for that and excellently be locating on in uh, bottom side. Okay. Now the uh, top direction, this is to be matted on uh, these two surfaces. Automatically the flat surface to be creating on uh, the table, dining table should be creating on the flat surface. Okay. Be locating on the bottom side. And then next one you can be creating on the two uh, tables. One is chair, another one is a dining table you can create. Just got to control and uh, right left click of the mouse button you can drag it each and every, every component every component and then you can use to mat it just so to drag it And first and second component is also drag and third one okay and the last one component okay now we can use to mat it's a normal mat you can use to mat it on these components First, these two side surface you can mat it. Okay. Before that, uh, these components going to fix it. Fix. Now we can uh, drag it. ok 
okay now we can fix on uh, this concentric this circle to this circle matted okay and here is also this circle to another one circle okay concentric mat and then now the next component uh, you can use to drag it for the next component in uh, the handle you can mat it on uh, these circles concentric mat for here okay and this outer surface and this levers this levers inner surface okay okay it is matted and opposite side is also we can mat same the concentric mat and again the next component for here this surface and this inner surface you can mat it And these two surfaces are parallel and you can fix it here before that you can identify that uh, the smaller deviation is there you can adjust these components be hided in bottom uh, floor level you can hide and you can mat it for these two bottom surfaces bottom surfaces you can uh, mat with a parallel mat you can mat it Okay, the mat slight uh, problem is there. That is what the bottom plate cannot be fixed on uh, proper location. So we can delete it. Ah, this is a parallel mat. Unwanted. This this you can be deleted. Now we can mat. at this surface and uh, this surface
there is also the slight uh, problem is there so we can use that to mat in uh, sitting portion of uh, these two plates you can mat it You can drag it and just you have to pull in the uh, upward direction and then you can adjust and side you can move it it is to be located and these two surfaces going to mat we can delete it and this top surface you can mat and next you can adjust these levers force it and adjust it automatically it should be rotating on bottom floor level just have to drag it automatically it should be coming down ok automatically it should be coming down and reaching the floor level Okay, excellent to be locating on here you can see that this is for a good uh, garden the floor level and two chairs to be innovative uh, the single chair can be multiplied by multiple purpose you can use that uh, you can subscribe my channel uh, like my channel and then uh, like this video forward to your friends is also thank you for watching our design export channel thank you please subscribe my channel thank you